Hi guys, it's Russell here from The Presenter, presentation training and design agency based in the very cold right now UK, but working with clients across the globe. And now is the time of year when most of you are probably thinking about how do we up our game for our sales presentation going into 2021. Going into next year, everyone's feeling a little bit anxious. We don't quite know what to expect, but one thing is for certain, if you want to win new business in the new year, you are going to have to present. So a lot of people are looking to up their game now, and I'm gonna share a few tips with you over the coming months leading up to the end of 2020 to help you make some simple changes and make some simple decisions that will improve your sales presentation and get you set for 2021 to win that new business that's gonna be crucial for everyone out there. So I hope you enjoy this very first tip. Please comment below and share wherever you see this video. So the first tip I wanna share with you is something that we see an awful lot and it's the Our Clients slide. So this is a slide that you might have in your sales presentation um, or maybe just in your general kind of company overview presentation. It's a really, really important slide. You do want to show off your top clients, of course. I do the same in my own sales presentations. But the biggest mistake we see is people adding way too many logos and not really doing much with them either. We tend to just go to the client's websites, grab their logos, slap them onto the slide, cram as many in as we can, and then we wanna show that to people because we're really excited to show off the amazing clients that we've worked with. I would say less is more. So pick your top clients or maybe pick a group of clients that are in the same sector as the prospect you are about to present to. That would normally go down much, much better. And just have up to 10 or 12 logos on a single slide. You really don't need any more than that. What you can see I've done here on this PowerPoint slide is I've also managed to turn all of the logos I'm working with into um, just simple white color with uh, no background at all. Now I've done that outside of PowerPoint using Adobe Illustrator. I don't expect everyone to know how to do that. So if you do just have colored logos with white backgrounds, the same tip that I'm about to share with you will apply. Now what I want to show you first of all is that it's one thing to just put your logos onto one slide and have them there statically, not moving whatsoever. But actually it's really, really easy to add some nice subtle animation to this client slide and have the logos very, very subtly moving um, and passing by the audience's eyeballs whilst we actually talk about who we're working with. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really, really simple. Um, it should take you 10, 15 minutes max, and it's definitely something that's worth doing. So here goes. So the first thing I'm gonna do, you can see in the list of clients I have here that there's a really obvious split between um, clients that are in finance, let's say, and banking on this side, and kind of general retail clients on this side. So first of all, I'm gonna split them into two groups and I'm gonna put these in a line. I'm gonna let them go off the edge of the slide at the moment, because I just wanna add a little bit of space in between each one, like so. And I'm gonna put them in a line, then I'm gonna hold the shift key down and I'm gonna select everyone in my retail line and I'm gonna use my alignment tools to just line these up much better. So my alignment tools I've got selected at the very top here. I'm also gonna put the same distance in between each logo just to be a little bit neater. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is group them together. So I'm gonna use the shortcut on my Mac, which is com uh, Command, Option, and G to group those together. I'm gonna to do exactly the same thing over here with all of my banking and finance logos. So let's just uh, bring these down a bit. Use the shift key, select them all, use my alignment tool to straighten them up. I make sure that they're all centered uh, or aligned to the center. There we go, because they are all obviously different sizes and shapes. 
Then I'm going to distribute the um, distances between the logos vertically, just so everything's a bit e easier uh, to look at. There we go. So we've now got one line of banking clients and one line of retail clients. I'm going to get rid of that blank rectangle in the background. And I can put these next to each other here if I want to. Um, I'm going to take it a step further, though. What I'm actually going to do is join these two lines up so that we do just have one big line of clients, but we'll get the retail clients showing up first and then the banking. Um, obviously, you don't have to follow this step if you just want to uh, have one big long list. That's entirely up to you. Of all different sectors, um, this is just an example that I actually worked on quite recently with uh, a client of ours. So if I just use my little slider down in the bottom right here, I can zoom out of this slide a little bit. And what you can actually see is, of course, we've got about four or five logos that fit onto the slide. The rest are actually above. Now, that's a good thing, OK, because I actually prefer my audience members to not be too distracted by lots and lots of stuff they have to look at. So I'm going to get these logos to slowly scroll down the screen. And on the left hand side of my slide here, I could maybe add some kind of strap line or a message, um, you know, maybe a testimonial or something like that. I'm not going to have all the logos not moving on one slide all at once. We're going to make this a bit more dynamic. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to select my logos on the right. I'm going to go to my uh, animations option at the top here. And uh, first of all, actually, before I do that, I'm going to move my logos all the way off the slide like so. And I'm going to select the lines option under path animations. So I'm going to choose lines here and that will give you a little preview. So it's probably remembered the last uh, kind of direction that I've chosen. But here under effect options, I'm going to make sure this is set to down. So I want my logos to scroll down. You can see that you can choose any direction. So it doesn't have to be a, a vertical scrolling list of logos. You could have, go, have them going from left to right. Um, or diagonally, it's up to you. I'm going to show you an example of how cool that looks a bit later on. So I'll leave that set to down. Uh, what I'm going to do now, though, is just scroll out a bit. And what you can hopefully see here, if I just zoom into these logos, you can see we've got this little red arrow and a green arrow. Now, the green arrow is where your selection starts and the red arrow will be where it finishes. So what I want to do is click on that red arrow. Sometimes it can be a bit fiddly to grab with the mouse. I'm going to zoom back out, just give myself enough space to see this. I'm going to grab that red arrow, hold my shift key down so that we keep a nice straight line. And I'm going to move that slowly down all the way to the bottom here. So there we go. You can see my start points at the top, my finish points at the bottom. Now what I want to do is go into my animation pane and actually tell PowerPoint how and when I want this animation to play. So if I look at effect options, you can see at the moment we've got smooth start um, and smooth end. Don't really need those options on because sometimes they can slow things down a little bit. We want this to get going pretty quickly when we get to this slide. The timing of this, um, I'm going to get it to start with a click. You could get this to start automatically as soon as you move on to this slide. Um, but I'm going to have this start with a click. Now, duration, we definitely don't want to see all those logos in two seconds. So I'm going to make this maybe 60 seconds. There we go. 60 seconds sounds like a good time. And if I wanted to, I could get it to repeat. So maybe I want that to repeat until the end of my slide, just in case people start asking me questions as I'm presenting my list of clients, at least then I know the logos will keep going and going until the end of the slide. So let's have that selected and let's now hit the present button and see how that looks. So here's present mode. I'll move my mouse out of the way. I'm going to hit the um, mouse button. So I'm going to click to start the slide. And here we go. They scroll down really nice and slowly. Again, I could have some information over here on the left, maybe a testimonial, uh, testimonial uh, maybe my company strap line, 
could be anything at all. But you can see the logos are moving nice and slowly. There's not too much to distract the audience. And because of the way I've listed them, I could talk about the work that we do in retail first. And then I could move on to finance and banking because now we've got Santander and Lloyd's and Nationwide appearing. So, again, you don't have to have this list of clients scrolling down. You can have your list of clients scrolling in any direction that you want to uh, at all by simply going to effect options and choosing the direction here. And I just want to show you a, another example of that. So if I go uh, to the next slide, actually, I've already got this prepared. I'm going to jump ahead to my next slide. And there you go. We can see that I've actually used a diagonal line here, which I think looks really nice. And we've got some other facts and figures on the left hand side that are actually just going to appear as we click them. So as I click, I've got some more facts and figures that I can talk through. This is just another grouping of animations that we go through as those logos continue to scroll down the screen. So there's a lot that you can do. It doesn't have to be just a boring old list of logos that fill your entire slide and are really, really small because you've crammed so many on. Give your amazing clients that you want to show off, give their logos and their brand space to breathe. Your audience will be able to take in much more of those amazing clients that you work with if there's more space around them. When we cram everything into one space, our clients can't necessarily see some of the top clients that we want to make sure they realize we work with. So I hope you found this tip useful. Comment below. Please share the video as well. Um, send me a link on LinkedIn um, if we're not connected. I'd love to help you improve your presentations. Check out our website at thepresenter.com for more blogs and useful tips like this. Also check out our portfolio for some of the amazing presentation designs that we do. If you need presentation training now at the end of the year to get your team up to speed, ready for 2021, then please reach out to me. Hope you found it useful. More tips like this are on the way leading up to the end of the year. Take care.